Welcome back to McPhee Ford. Today we've got a little bit of a special video planned. We're gonna be doing a little bit of an experiment here. So we've got this brand new 2023 Ford F-150 Platinum and it has the power boost engine. And what we're gonna be doing today is sort of doing a little bit of a torture test to the Pro Power onboard system in the brand new F-150. And what we're gonna be doing is using these items here. We have a hair dryer. We also have a heat gun and two different sort of types of uh, space heaters. And we have the 7.2 kilowatt pro power on board system in this Power Boost F-150. And what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna be running these at full capacity, uh, see how much fuel it uses, see how the pro power on board system reacts uh, to these items here. And we're gonna run this test for one full hour. Uh, we're gonna run it for an hour, see how much fuel it uses, and also again, see how this system reacts uh, to all of our stuff that we have plugged in to the back of the Pro Power on board system in the new F-150. Now, if we hop inside of this F-150 Platinum, take a look at the sync for display here. It'll give you an idea of the power output here. So if we go into the feature section, we do have a pro power on board system right here. And now the system is on with that button right there. And when you click generator mode, it will allow the full 7.2 kilowatts of power. And this little eye up top here will actually show you uh, sort of which different uh, circuits control which outlets. Uh, so you'll see here we do have circuits A and B and the circuits in the interior of the cabin like this one here as well as the one on the back of the console here are circuits A and then the ones in the box use both circuit A and B. Uh, so you can kind of get an idea of which circuits do what. Now without further ado, we're going to go ahead and see how much fuel uh, the F-150 Platinum with the Power Boost engine will use when we run this system for one hour. Uh, so we're going to use time this for an hour, see how much fuel it uses, and we'll see the results. All right, so I've got everything configured back there. I did crack the door open a little bit just because we are inside and the engine will run uh, because it does have to supply power to that hybrid battery. Uh, so I do have some airflow coming into here, uh, but we'll hop inside of the F-150 here and we'll take a look at the screen. As Soon as I click generator mode, everything will happen here. Uh, so right now it is 10.02, uh, so we'll go to about 11 o'clock and we'll see how much fuel it uses. Currently we're at 245 kilometers till empty. Uh, so it's about a quarter of a tank. So we'll see how much fuel it uses. So we'll click generator mode. So it's say in general mode, the engine will continue to run to supply power to the outlets. Uh, use outside, we do have our door cracked open. I will probably crack that door open as well. Click close, and now the engine just clicked on. And you'll see here we are using 2,500 watts on circuit A and about 2,000 watts on circuit B. Uh, so we'll monitor this as time progresses. So we might be a little loud back here, but we do have our heat, uh, heat gun as well as our hair dryer running, as well as the two space heaters. Uh, currently the engine is running to supply power to that uh, hybrid battery. Uh, so we'll let this run for an hour and see how it goes. All right, so we take a look at the screen here. So we are pulling about 2,500 watts here on the circuit A, and then circuit B, it's about 1,900. It's kind of fluctuating a little bit between 1,900 and 2,000. Uh, so we're pulling just under 4,500 watts of power. And now I just tried to sort of increase uh, the circuit B power. Uh, that hair dryer is running on circuit B. Um, one thing I have noticed though is when I increase the power on the hair dryer, uh, usually when it goes over 3,000 watts, it actually trips the breaker. Uh, so I'm not entirely sure why, but maybe it's the equipment I'm using, I don't know. Uh, but I have noticed uh, we have been tripping the circuit uh, quite often. And I'll show you what I mean. So we have circuit B there, which is playing about 1900 watts. And we'll move on back to the F-150 here and we'll turn up our hair dryer right here. And so now when we go back here, so now we're pulling about 3100 watts and usually it takes a couple seconds here, uh, but it actually has tripped it quite often. Currently, it's been about you know eight minutes or so. We started just a little after uh, ten, but uh, see, it just tripped the circuit right there. So I think anything over three thousand, it, it doesn't really like that much. Uh, so we'll have to uh, keep it at about two thousand watts for circuit B. So I've been having to come back here, put this back to the lower setting, and now we actually have to reset our circuit. So we push this right here. And then now it's going again. And we'll move back to our sync four display here. And you can see it's back to the uh, sort of the regular 1900 that it was at before. So it is kind of strange that um, anything over 3000, it kind of trips it. I'm not sure if it's maybe just the hair dryer, maybe it's uh, the power is just kind of fluctuating too much. Um, Cause we do, we should have 3600 watts of, of max power per circuit, um, but it doesn't really like uh, anything over 3000. 
So we'll keep it at here for now. Let's, we're pulling about 4,500, just a little bit under 4,500 watts. Uh, currently we're at 238 kilometers still empty. Uh, we started at 245, so we're down about seven kilometers of range. Now I have had the, uh, the climate control running as well as the heated seat running, um, but I will actually turn it off because it's been you know, about 15 minutes or so, just under 15 minutes. Uh, the engine has actually been running the entire time. Uh, so I'm curious if, if I turn off the, the climate control as well as the heated seat, uh, maybe that'll kind of reduce the amount of power that's being drawn because uh, the engine is uh, running and it runs about 1,000 RPM or exactly 1,000 RPMs. Uh, so it revs it up just a little bit just to kind of keep as much power as it possibly can. Uh, so maybe that'll help with, uh, maybe it'll actually shut the engine off at some point. Now what's cool about this uh, SYNC 4 display here is that you can monitor all your Pro Power onboard stuff from the screen or you can actually use the Ford Pass app on your phone. Uh, so all of the stuff here can be monitored through the Ford Pass app so you don't have to come back and keep checking this. Uh, so you can maybe if you're you know, doing this at home, you can power your RV or whatever you want to do. You can actually monitor all the stuff uh, from the Ford Pass app. So we've got a little bit of an update here. Uh, we're at 1029, uh, so we're closing in on half an hour and we're using about the same power as we, uh, we was before. So about 4,500 watts uh, just under. And currently we're at 225 kilometers of range. Uh, we start at 245, so we've lost 20 kilometers of range uh, in that half an hour that it's been running. All right, so it's 1032 and I don't think what we're gonna try, so currently the engine's been running for the entire time that the, uh, we've been doing this. So it's been running for over half an hour here. Um, so I think what we're going to do, currently circuit A is about 25, just under 2500 watts. So the thing I'm going to try is turn down the uh, power that we're using for circuit A and maybe the engine will actually shut off at one point because it's supposed to be able to sort of automatically turn on and off uh, when it needs the power. So maybe the thing I'm going to try is turn down circuit A and uh, see if it'll, it'll automatically do that. So we're going to move on to the back of the F-150 here. And I think what we're going to do, this space heater is on circuit A. So I think what we're going to do is turn this down to medium. Maybe that'll help. I actually did hear a little bit of an audible difference from the exhaust. I think the uh, the inverter or whatever in charging system is actually uh, just turned down a little bit. We'll look inside here and see what we're doing here. Uh, so circuit A is at 1460. So it actually went down about a thousand watts. Uh, so maybe we'll keep it there for a couple of minutes. Maybe the engine will shut off uh, at one point, but I'll certainly keep you guys updated. All right, so you've been running for about 40 minutes here, and uh, my little system that I use to try to maybe bring down circuit A is kind of working. Uh, it hasn't actually shut off uh, yet either, uh, but it's kind of cycling between 1500 and 2500 watts. I think that space heater is kind of just turning on and off. Um, so maybe what we'll do is we'll try to turn that heater completely off, and maybe that'll allow the engine to actually shut off at some point, because uh, I am curious to see uh, you know, what kind of power you need to draw uh, in order for it to actually shut the engine off. So I think what we'll do is we'll come around to the back here and we'll take this heater and we'll shut this completely off. And maybe that will draw a little bit less power to where maybe it'll stay at that 1500 watts. And uh, maybe at some point it'll, uh, it'll shut the engine off. If not, we'll, uh, we'll even take circuit B. Maybe we'll turn that one down a little bit as well. But you can see here it is 1041 and we're at 221 kilometers of range. Uh, again, so we start at 245 and it's been about 41 minutes. Uh, as you can see here on the screen, we're still pulling that 1500 watts there and that 1900 on the circuit B. So maybe what I'll do is I'll try to remove or sort of turn down uh, whatever we have on circuit B because again, the engine still hasn't shut off. We're at 1045, uh, the engine is still running uh, for that full, uh, the full 45 minutes and we're at 219 kilometers of range. So maybe what I'll do is that uh, I'll take this heater here, this one is on circuit B, and I'll just turn down the temperature here. Maybe I'll turn it down half, and maybe I'll turn down the fan speed as well, uh, just so we can try to eliminate some power that's being drawn here. I will hop inside of the F-150, take a look at the screen. Okay, so now we're pulling 1100, so way less power uh, than we were pulling before. And maybe even I'll turn the, maybe I'll even turn down the heat gun as well. Maybe we'll turn that one. That one's on circuit A. So maybe we'll turn down that one as well. Okay, so now we're at 750 and about 1200 there. Uh, so we're almost uh, about 2000 watts. Uh, so maybe we'll see how that does. Oh, in fact, there it goes. So the engine actually just shut off uh, for the first time. So you do have to draw a lot less power uh, for, the, for the engine actually to shut off. Now we'll keep an eye on how long the engine shuts off for. Uh, but you'll see we are drawing our 1200 watts and about 750 there. Uh, so we have about 
uh, that 1900, just under 2000 watts of power. Uh, so we'll keep an eye on the time here, uh, right there, and we'll see how long it, uh, how long it runs for. But you can see here we are at 2.28 in our time, uh, which is about three minutes since the engine's been shut off for it. It's been running those uh, almost 2,000 watts on full electric power for over three minutes now. Uh, so that's pretty impressive. You can run that much power uh, for over three minutes. All right, so the truck's been running for over five minutes, almost six minutes uh, in full battery alone. The engine hasn't shut, uh, turned on for almost six minutes. Uh, so I think what we'll do is we'll hop back in the, uh, in the, around the tailgate there and we'll, we'll crank up our heaters again. And uh, we're on the final stretch here, 10.53, we've got about seven minutes left. So I think what we'll do is we'll turn everything back on and we'll see uh, how much fuel to use. We're at 2.19 still. Uh, so we've used about, uh, about 26 kilometers of range. So I think what we'll do here, we'll hop back around, see how much power we can use before the truck turns on. So we'll turn that on, we'll turn our space heater on, and then we'll turn our heater back on full. It gets full, there we go. Now we'll see, and there we go, the F-150 just turned back on. So it just fired up again. And we're back to our sort of where we were at the start, about 4,500 watts. Uh, so we'll see where we're at here, 218 now. And uh, so it ran for quite a while, almost seven minutes uh, when, the, uh, when it was on full electric. So that's pretty impressive to see. Uh, we could run over 2,000 watts of power. And there it goes. So we just hit 11 o'clock right there, and we're at 215 kilometers of range. Now we start at 245, so you've used exactly 30 kilometers of range. Uh, so in that hour, you use 30 kilometers of range. Uh, so you can kind of get an idea of how much power it will use. Uh, the engine was running for most of the, uh, most of the uh, test here uh, for about the seven minutes that it wasn't, uh, but we used about uh, 30 kilometers of range in that full hour. So now we'll hop around to the back of the F-150 here. And we'll turn off some of our heaters. And now the engine will probably shut off at some point here. Uh, but we've had that. There we go. And the engine just shut off. So there you go. You can kind of get an idea of how much uh, fuel it will use when you max out your Pro Power onboard system in the brand new F-150. And so I hope you enjoyed this video. If you want to see some more shenanigans just like this, uh, feel free to subscribe. We do have a lightning uh, that we may possibly use. If you want to see that video, we'll do a lightning. We'll plug in the lightning to the F-150 here and we'll charge the lightning with the PowerBoost truck. Uh, so feel free to subscribe. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next one.